On September 16, 2022, the heart of 22-year-old Mahsa Amini stopped in a hospital in Tehran. Mahsa's family called her Gina. In Kurdish, Gina means live. But this live spring turned to autumn before its time. Mahsa, a Kurdish yaw, was known as an angel and a butterfly among her friends and family. A few days before her tragic death, Mahsa Amini and her brother had traveled from her hometown of Saqiz to Tehran to visit her family. Mahsa was stopped by the regime's repressive forces for supposedly violating the regime's address code while she was out with her brother and friends. The security forces tried to arrest her, but she and her friends resisted to prevent them from doing so. Mahsa's supposed crime was violating hijab rules, but according to her mother, When they got off the metro, I swear to God, she was wearing a coat that was the size of four coats. And it was so tall that it dragged on the ground. It was my coat. Her headscarf was three meters long. She wasn't wearing any makeup. As soon as she got off the metro, they arrested her. My son pleaded with them to let her go. Don't take my sister. We are strangers here. What has she done? They beat him and took her away by force. But the security forces did not pay attention to her brother's pleas. Why should a few minutes of discussion with the police cause so much fear, especially when she hadn't committed any crime? A look at the brutal behavior of the regime's repressive forces shows why people should be worried. Maybe Mahsa and her brother were thinking about these scenes. Mahsa was violently transferred to the police station, and after that, regime authorities declared that Mahsa had suffered a heart attack and was transferred to Tehran's Kasra hospital while being in a state of coma. This news shocked the Iranian society. This was not the first time that a detainee died under police custody. But the minds of Iran's people were filled with bitter memories. Sattar Bihashti, Iranian blogger killed under torture in prison. Zahra Kazimi, Iranian Canadian journalist. Dr. Zahra Bani Yaqub. Tarane Musavi. Hundreds of protesters arrested and murdered during the December 2017 protests and declared to have committed suicide. And of course, 30,000 political prisoners executed in the summer of 1988. And these terrifying memories caused worries in the Iranian society. What will happen to Mahsa? Sadness and worry was waiting heavily in the streets. Everyone were praying for Mahsa's health to be restored. But alas, what no one wanted came to pass. The news of Mahsa's passing was confirmed. Outrage broke. The people of Iran did not weep. They turned their sorrow into rage against the regime. 
Iranian youth gathered in front of Kasra Hospital and chanted anti-regime slogans such as death to Khamenei and death to the dictator. ترس از مردم حتی نمیذارم نزدیک بیمارستان بشه Terrified from the social reaction, the regime pretended that Mahsa had died of a heart attack and natural causes. But no one believed these lies. The physicians at Kasra Hospital had previously said that when they received Mahsa, she had no vital signs. In an Instagram post, Kasra Hospital declared that Mahsa Amini was transferred to the hospital at 8.22 p.m. on September the 13th with no vital signs. Expectedly, the regime forced the hospital to delete these posts after a few hours. Photos of Mahsa Amini hosted online showed blood coming out of her ear. This is not a symptom of a heart attack. And bleeding from the ear happens when the skull is fractured, which could be caused by a blow to the head. When the regime's deception tactic failed, authorities declared that Mahsa had epilepsy, that she had type 1 diabetes, and she had undergone a brain tumor surgery in her infancy. But Mahsa's father denied these reports and said that his daughter was in full health. The outrage of the Iranian people exploded during Mahsa's funeral in Saqaz. The ceremony turned into an anti-age protest rally and expanded to other cities. Today, Mahsa is alive in the shouts of girls who are chanting anti-regime slogans in the streets of Iran, in the defiance of the youth who do not give in to tyranny, in the hands that set fire to the posters of Khamenei, and in the uprising of a nation that strives for freedom. A nation whose rallying cry has become death to the dictator and death to the tyrant, be it in the Shah or the supreme leader. A nation whose people come to the streets despite knowing that the price of freedom could be their lives. Who are shouting, if we don't stand together, divided we will fall. And no fear, we are all together. This is all happening while the regime has blocked access to Instagram and WhatsApp to shut down the voice of the people and to have free reign to crack down on the protests. The people of Iran deserve freedom. They deserve their basic rights and dignity to be preserved. They deserve a democratic government. The freedom of every nation is the freedom of all nations. Support the people of Iran to prevent the regime from killing other Mahsas. We, the people of Iran, need the help of all freedom fighters. Stand with us. Let's be the voice of the Iranian people.